Hey y'all, Jen from Squizito. So if you don't know and you're new to our channel, we are an olive oil and balsamic vinegar tasting room and we are located in Central Arkansas. We have several locations, but if you are a, a, a frequent flyer of our channel, that is so stupid. <laughs> That's... If you have been around our channel for a while, maybe you've ordered something from us and maybe we've shipped it to you. So I wanted to kind of give you a behind the scenes of what that looks like. Whenever you order a package from us, it's actually me or Tanya or Cindy that's packaging this box and we actually write on the slip of paper and we package it up and Tanya's actually working on one right now. There's Tanya, everybody meet Tanya. <laughs> She says pickles a lot and it cracks me up. I love it. So whenever she has, what do you, it was like whenever she's frustrated. Yeah, frustrated. She says, ah, pickles. Oh, do it again. Ah, pickles. One more time. Ah, pickles. It cracks me up. I love it. <laughs> So anyway, back to the shipping. So what we're doing is we are literally here packing up boxes and see we wrote a note. We always write notes and we always usually put something in there. We like to look at every single order and find something that the customer hasn't ordered and just added just to, you know, have so they can try something new. So it's just a fun little way we like to you know, get in touch with our customers. But anyway, that is a behind the scenes look of our shipping practices. Also, we have something else fun happening today. Behind the scenes look at Andrea dropping off meat. And so she should be here anytime. So when she gets here, I'm gonna show you Andrea Vinson. If you don't know her, she has a channel and it is called VW Family Farm. It's not just her channel, it's her whole family's channel. Her and Ben and Emily and Lane and they raise um, animals and gardens and all kinds of fun stuff. And so they deliver their meat here to our store for customers that have ordered it. So she's gonna be here in just a few minutes and I'll take you outside and show you what that looks like because we are all just normal people, just, just like you and just doing these, you know, just interacting with each other on a, just a, a normal basis. And I just wanted you to see that we are normal people just interacting on a daily basis like you could in your own town. Um, we're just friends and uh, this is how we do things. So I just wanted to show you a behind the scenes look at what it looks like. So this is actually what it looks like when you order meat from Andrea. She has your name on a list and you just come pick it up or she delivers it to you. This is one of Andrea's customers. Would you like to say hi? Hi. And what's your name? Mary Norris. This is Mary Norris. And she lives pretty close around here. I live in, in Jacksonville. In Jacksonville, yeah. Farm to table is the way to go, especially now. Yeah. With and right, right. And knowing that you're going to be able to get some meat from somebody local. Mm -hmm. Not to mention, it tastes so much better, doesn't it? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Hands down, you can tell the difference. It's so, so different. Very good. Yeah. So Very it's good. good. If you have somebody local, to you that you can get meat from, you definitely need to reach out and see if you can get some of that meat. So much better. So today, you know, I'm telling you about what it looks like behind the scenes and Five Acre Farms is here. Still open the door for Mr. Daniel. And so I wanted to introduce you to Daniel. Thanks, Gail. This is Daniel. Hey, guys. So he's bringing in, go ahead, you can go and set him down. I don't expect you to hold him. So he's bringing in the vegetables for people that have ordered um, online or they have the farm share signed up to uh, have deliveries every week or every other week. I sign up for every other week. I don't know if this is my week or not. I can't keep up with it. So, <laughs> so he just brings it in and then whoever has signed up for it comes in that afternoon and picks it up and it happens to be on the same day that Andrea and Emily bring the meat. So you wanna say hi? Hi. This is Daniel. He works for Cat Five and Brandon at Five Acre Farms. Yeah, so that's awesome. So now you met Daniel. Thanks, Daniel. Thanks, <laughs> Hey, y'all. Jan from Squizito. It's a busy day today. It's exciting. So here's a behind-the-scenes look at what we're doing and what it looks like whenever we get bottles. What I do whenever I get bottles is unload the truck with my tractor. 
And some of you may not know, probably none of you know, I used to be a heavy equipment operator, so this is not a big deal to me. But um, I just had to cancel my appointments so I could go put the forks on the tractor so I could get ready for when the truck gets here to unload because we have six pallets of bottles. That's a lot of bottles. So what I do, uh, because in our little bitty store, we don't have room to store all these pallets of bottles. There's so many. So in our store, the walls are closing in on us. So what I do is I have purchased a storage building and uh, we unload the bottles from the truck. And I, today, since I don't normally get six pallets, but Christmas is coming up, so I went ahead and got six pallets this year because I'm so excited that everybody loves olive oil and we are going to need that many bottles. And so I'm going to unload them and I'm going to put them in the garage and then I'm going to rearrange the storage building and probably have to take quite a few bottles in my truck to the store and make room for the six pallets in the storage building. Because it's kind of tight squeezed, but it will hold six pallets of bottles in there. So yeah, that's what we do. The bottles come off the truck and they go into the storage building. And then from there, I load them in my truck and take them to the store to fill all the olive oils. So I thought I would show y'all behind the scenes look at what it looks like to get bottles. Okay, so I told you I was a little rusty about tractor stuff, but I just got the phone with Nick, and he said that this bush hog is heavier than the box blade. So I don't know how I got it in my head that it was the box blade was heavier, but it's not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the bush hog on so I have some counterweight, picking up those big heavy pallets off the truck, and hopefully it'll be heavy enough <laughs> that I won't have a, a disaster. Now we have a traffic jam because... My aunt is having a concrete pad poured down here. She had one poured last week, and the dozer is loading out today. I didn't know that, so now we have a dump truck and a trailer sitting in the driveway waiting on this dozer to be loaded out, but he's dressing up the pad first. So I'm hoping that the truck, my truck, the bottle truck doesn't get here while this dump truck and the trailer, because we have a big driveway, but not big enough for both of them. I mean, maybe if they can, you know, get around each other, but our road to get down here is terrible and it's narrow and it's full of holes and we can't get the county to fix it. And there's no way that both of them can, can, can pass on our road. It's terrible. Now, if you don't mind, because I'll have to get them with the tractor to move them, kind of just do, just, like just three like this and then three more just kind of straight ahead that way yeah I'll come get them out of here and put them in the storage building well this ended up being way easier because I didn't even have to use the tractor <laughs> it's my lucky day yeah I'm really glad that um, y'all were able to do that because they're tall. Unloading with the tractor, they would have been, it would have been a little teetery. I could have done it, but it would have been slow going. A lot slower than this. <laughs> so, this is a video of, this is what it looks like whenever it gets here. This morning, the, the bottles came to my house. Uh, you know, your, it was Glenn and Anthony. And so, making a video on, this is what it looks like when the product gets here. <laughs> We can't really breathe, huh? Yeah, no, it was heavy. <laughs> how much? Yeah, how much does that weigh? This one is 1,500 pounds. 1,500 pounds, okay. Yeah, so for all y'all watching, 
this is what it looks like when it gets here and it's heavy <laughs> you saw me and austin we couldn't have done it without steel though yeah okay. That's the big help up. <laughs> he was helping glenn this morning to go up and down <laughs> so y'all remember i told you about my back problems that i was having and it was just the arches in my feet that had collapsed and now with the arch support I can pick stuff up again. So for six months, I haven't been able to unload these pallets and I have depended on the girls that work for me to do it. Oh my gosh, let me turn around here. And they have been fantastic. All of them have stepped up and they have unloaded all the shipments for me. Even if they weren't working and I got a shipment, they would show up. And so Susan and Tanya and Cindy, thank y'all, y'all have been so amazing to just take care of everything that I couldn't take care of when I needed you. And they've always been there for me. They're great. So now to get back to this shipment. Whew.